awesome. Welcome to the shop. So this is completely unrehearsed. Um, obviously I didn't pick anything up. This is like the real deal. Um, doing it live. So it's a quasi lock precision doorknob unboxing video. Um, except I've already unboxed everything. But anyways, I had a lot of questions as I was looking at this kit about what it actually came with. And it seemed like there was an older version that was like one whole airframe um, that might be floating around, um, especially looking at like rocketry form, build threads and stuff. Um, so I tried to like look at photos on the website and I was just too lazy to call them. Um, I think uh, Jay and Dave were out at like Tripoli Las Vegas anyways, so they were out of phone service. So I kind of just blindly ordered it, figuring what could go wrong. Um, so if you had the same questions I did and you're too lazy to pick up the phone, um, you can watch this YouTube video. So um, I guess we'll start with the airframe. It is locks seven and a half inch diameter, um, whatever you, however you want to call that, um, cardboard tube. It comes with fin slots already laser cut, so that's pretty sweet. Um, the main section is actually 30 inches tall. And then it also comes with a 12 inch tall section. And then your nose cone, which comes to about, I think it's like 22 inch outside of the airframe. And it has a shoulder that's probably like four and a half, five inch. Um, so that's everything you would see outside. Oh yeah, and the fins. Real honest to goodness, nice plywood. Um, I don't know how many layers that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven layer. Um, absolutely uh, 350 thou, so that's pretty darn close to three eighths. Um, and it's all laser cut already for you. Um, you get four of those and they fit, you know, like they should. Oh, they actually go this way. Um, fit like they should. So that's what you see outside. Um, inside, let's talk about the coupler real quick. Um, it does come with one standard kind of thin, um, the regular coupler, 15 inch, which obviously you want one diameter to each side. So seven and a half, seven and a half, 15 inch. And with that, it comes with a, I believe this is quarter inch. Yeah, quarter inch plywood bulkhead. Um, and that comes with an eye bolt too. It is kind of your regular open eye bolt. I know a lot of people switch these out with like fully closed forged ones. Um, I mean, this is what, cool 0.2, so it's a little under quarter inch hardware. Um, jury's still out for me if I'm gonna upgrade that or not. I plan on glass in this, so she's gonna weigh quite a bit, so probably. But at least, you know, you have that option. Um, so that's the coupler. The motor mount. So it's this MMAS system, right? Um, modular motor mount adapter system. Uh, kind of had a lot of questions about that too. And hopefully this kind of build series will answer that. But essentially, you end up with a five and a half inch motor mount. Um, they call this the mother tube. So you're going to put that into the bottom of your airframe. Um, with again, they give you nice, what is this all? I think it's all quarter inch ply, right? Um, quarter inch ply, laser cut centering rings come with the kit. Um, you actually get three of those. Um, and the bottom most one will have the hardware you need to mount your adapters in. So that all goes in the hardware that comes with it. They give you all the T nuts you need for the back end of that. Um, it comes with two um sets of eye bolts with like all the nuts and really nice spacers you need and that'll actually mount to the forward center and ring uh yeah this one so that's how your recovery system will mount um right to that center and ring uh so that's the mmas system and then it comes by default with a 54 millimeter motor mount. Uh, so essentially it's, you know, 
a big centering ring that goes on the bottom, two more up the middle, and it basically makes it a 54 millimeter adapter, 54 millimeter to five and a half inch adapter that you can slide into there. Um, and it comes with all the retention hardware you need um, it, for your 54 millimeter cases, which is what any sane person would probably use on a locked door knob. 54 millimeter makes a lot of sense. This is gonna be my L2 um, CERT rocket. So I'm gonna start actually with 38 millimeter, uh, six grain case. Um, and if that goes good on a small J, then I'll put a full K in and that'll be a 54 millimeter six grain. So um, it's nice that I have the ability to quickly switch between motor sizes. Um, so I actually, that's a whole nother story, but I bought another adapter. Um, but this is what it comes with, 54 millimeter. It's a typical 54 millimeter motor tube that is 17 inch long. Um, yeah, I don't have any 54 millimeter hardware down here, but there's that. Also comes with a nice decal, if you're into that. Um, oh yeah, and then recovery hardware. It comes with a 78 inch nylon main parachute. I'm not gonna open it up for this video because I don't feel like folding it back up. Um, so it comes with that. It comes with 25 feet of 5 8 inch nylon webbing with uh, an eye bolt or whatever you wanna call that, screw gate carabiner or whatever. Um, and then I believe this is four feet of one inch or Okay, cool. So it's like a, what is that? It's a four foot long Y harness, right? So inside you're gonna connect your two separate U-bolts that are part of your top bulkhead. And then that's long enough to come out of the airframe um, and then attach to the rest of your recovery system. I'm probably gonna go with a one bad hawk Kevlar harness system with and run dual deployment. Actually, that's a whole nother story we'll, we'll get into um, in a second here. So, oh, and it comes with 1550, 1515? 1515, 1515 um, rail guides. Um, no backing plate for those, so I mean, I'll spin something up out of wood um, or maybe try to hit the centering rings, but those are only quarter inch, so. Um, but hey, this is a big boy kit, right? You're supposed to be able to figure that stuff out on your own. So that's what comes in the kit. Um, let's see, when it's all stacked up, we'll mock it up real quick. If this will comply. I don't even know if this all fits in the frame, but you get the idea. So top to bottom, I think they advertise it as like 62 inch. I don't know, I'm getting 64 inch. Um, she's kind of a short, fat, stubby classic, right? Uh, yeah. So we'll talk about kind of my dual deployment slash upgrades. All right, cool. So let's talk about all these extra pieces. Um, so when I first ordered the kit, um, my intent was to fly it on a single 29 millimeter motor. Um, and I'm sure had I called and just asked them for a 29 millimeter mount instead of the 54, it would have been fine. Um, but instead I just went on the website and was like, uh, yep, uh, MS Systems 729, that sounds right. Um, I want a 29 millimeter adapter for a seven inch airframe, sure. What shipped was this monstrosity, um, which the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking how cool that would be. Um, but it was a 729 millimeter motor cluster adapter. So, I mean, if I wanted to make each launch like $400 worth of 29 millimeter propellant, we could do that. Um, but, uh, that was not my intent. And then also I noticed when I was mocking up the airframe that my fin slots were a little long. Um, they were like 
two and a quarter inch too big or something. So I emailed uh, Jay and Dave at Lock and was like, hey, like the fin slots are a little long. Like I'm going to glass it. Is it okay? Like without filling them in. Um, and I would like to get a single 29 millimeter adapter. Um, and so I figured um, I would place an order like the next day and just get the rest of the parts I wanted. Um, so I emailed them that night and I called them the next day, figuring it would just be easier to talk on the phone. And they had already started shipping a brand new airframe to me. Um, I guess this was cut for some other kit and it accidentally got in my order. So this was like sitting on their loading dock without me even calling them. And I was like, whoa, 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 like grab that box and let's put some more stuff in it and I'll, uh, I'll buy some goodies. So I bought, um, since I had seven 17 inch long 29 millimeter motor tubes, I figured I'll buy a couple of nose cones. I'll use some of the extra motor tubes, I'll fiberglass them and I'll make myself a custom 38 millimeter minimum diameter weasel or something. Um, so I was like, let me buy a couple nose cones. Um, and I want to switch my doorknob up to dual deploy. So uh, quickly figuring out what I would need. Um, I would need a six inch stiffy coupler to fit inside the coupler in here to make an AV bay. So basically I ordered a stiffy coupler and they lasered it in half for me. So it would be, um, it's probably more than six inches, right? What, seven and a half? And it comes out seven and a quarter. Um, so they cut that in half for me, which was awesome. Um, and I ordered another bulkhead to make the top half of my AV bay. And this bulkhead actually comes with like really nice U-bolt. So I'm probably going to swap out the standard eye hook in the other bulkhead for something like that too. Um, so we got that. Um, for free, they sent me the 29 millimeter single adapter because um, they're cool like that. And that was the dual deploy like from lock order. Um, and then I went on Wildman. I went ahead and got some um, Nomex protectors because I'm not going to stuff seven and a half inches of dog barf in, in these things. Um, so their website said that the 30 inch square is what you need for like eight inch airframes. So, I mean, I guess we could put that to the test, right? That's going to go in there like this. Yeah, and then you could throw your parachute on top of that and just put that in there. Um, or you could fold it up like a neat little burrito. But I got a, two 30-inch Nomex protectors, which may be way too big. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, and a 24-inch, um, what does Wildman call his parachutes? The recon system or something like that. It's a 24-inch drogue from Wildman. Um, got myself one of those. Came with a really sweet heavy-duty swivel on it already. And then I got... 30 feet of, I forget what this is, 5 8 7 16 uh, Kevlar. And this has the three loops in it. So you got a loop at the end, and then a couple feet in, you got another loop for your parachute, and then another loop to go to your airframe. So with all that, I will be able to dual deploy this. Um, although now looking at a small J for my cert flight, it's going to go like, maybe 1200 feet, probably a thousand once I glass it, maybe only 700, I don't know. So I could probably motor deploy this, uh, but eventually I wanna go full case. In theory, that's gonna sim to 4,000 once I glass it and add the weight for that, probably between three and 4,000. Then we'll do dual deploy, that'll be awesome. So yeah, that is the doorknob saga and we can start.